guys more informative commentary. Right now we are still in Silver Elo. And we are up against a set. We have Conquer. We're gonna do something fun this game. We're gonna go tank. Hmm, let's see. We, ha we have to go tank AP though. Actually, I guess we'll see. We'll see where it goes. Might not go tank this game just for the sake of teaching. But we'll see. But I'm, I'm like really leaning towards like going to tank. Thing is, we need AP. So I might need to stick with my AP. AP build. But if we go like Nashers into like... Maybe not Nashers. Maybe Divine. Maybe I go Divine. Divine Thornmail or something into like Titanic. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see where the build takes us. But right now we are up against a set lane. Not it's not a lane where Katarina really can do much. This one's a pretty hard lane. I would say Electrocute is probably better in this lane. Because with Conquer, you kinda have to stick on the set. And set will out damage you if you stick on him. So if you like trade autos, he has like his passive or whatever it is. So we're mainly just going to be playing the lane, playing the wave, and roams. Probably what I'm going to be focusing on mainly in this game. Now, Set usually goes... He could go E first. Try to like pressure you off the minions, but Set's not going to do that here. So we just get to walk up safely to these minions. He's just last hitting. When he goes for that, I'm going to go for the bounce. Not get the minion, that's great. He actually has lethal tempo, or I mean fleet footwork, so he's going to get sustain. He's, he actually has so much sustain, because Set already has a lot of regen. So going for trades with Set is pretty bad, if he's just going to heal it all up anyway. Unless I find lethal, right? So we hit two here, and this is definitely just going to be a farming game. So we're going to hold the wave here. So that we're in a pretty good spot. More safe spot. We're just gonna farm it up. Set's not pressuring me when he should be. I'm gonna jump on that dagger. He does not react to it and does not E. We're three. Now let me show you a combo. He's gonna get the cannon. Boom. Dodge the middle. Not bad, not bad. I just wanted to show you that combo even though I lost the trade. It's a very safe trade to go for. QEW. So I could do it again, right? Dodge the middle. It's kind of how it goes. But the thing is, look at this wave right now, right? It gets pushed in if you use it like that. So you have to like, kind of use it wisely. Use it kind of sparingly. Now the wave's pushed in. Now it's on pushing towards set, so I would love to just shove this in. But if I jump in on the dagger, it's going to be pretty hard. But what I see here... Kindred's going to jump over the wall. Alright, we're just back here. Go back into lane. Now next wave's coming in. He knows Hecarim's around. So he's kind of playing back right now. Now our goal, our wave's in a pretty shitty spot. It would be lovely if we could just shove it in. Does not hit the E, which is huge. Wanna Q the cannon? I don't Q the cannon. I see Nautilus coming in. I'm moving upside. Hecarim's coming in. I'm coming in. Set is actually stuck under the tower right now. Kindred could be here though. You gotta take note of this. Okay. We're actually healthier than Set right now. We're gonna Q him. And we're gonna Q him again. And I'm watching Hecarim, because Hecarim looks like he wants to get aggressive, right? Guess what? I'm gonna Q him again. Guess that's the game plan right now. Poke him out with Qs. This wave's gonna push into me, but the more Qs I throw, 
the more it's going to push into him. He does get that regen as well, and he has fleet. Boom. E out. Dodge that. Kindred was bot side. Saw her on the map. Cannon wave's coming in. So we kind of plan out the next, next wave. So this wave's going to push into me. I'm just going to freeze. Looks like Seth doesn't want to get hit by Qs. So he's like backing up. I think he's getting a little annoyed. Not getting minions. He hit 6. I hit 6. I'm watching bot because I feel like I might need to roam down. But right now, I'm just looking for a back. That's it. Playing the wave, looking for a back. Only gets jumped on. I don't know if I can move here. Get the cannon. Yeah, I can't. So we're just going to play our lane. So this game, we're just going to play towards our spikes. Q again. Now, I've been farming safely all game. This is a win on my end. This guy has not hit an E. Maybe hit one. This is good. We actually have 1300 gold. We're probably gonna go... I don't know if I'm actually gonna go like... Tank. But maybe I do go Divine though. Divine and Steel Plate sounds pretty good. And he has not been able to hit it at all. But I've been moving around it pretty well too. They do get the drag here. Hecarim's over here. See how Seth's just full health now? Poked him out a lot before, but... Yeah, he's got a lot of regen. And fighting him's pretty hard too. Especially if he has ult, it's kind of hard to fight him. But I'm going to try to test him here. Ooh, if he got hit by that knot hook, he was dead. Set no, no R though. And again, we're just in front of our tower again, safely. See Kindred. I mean, I'm around for this guy. Okay, nice. Oh. Are we trying to do something here? There's not much I can do right now. I'm not that strong. This is great though. We're just farming. This is like... Pretty much getting a free spike in a pretty bad lane. We're, we're like 2k, 2k gold right now. I think we just get Nash, honestly. Maybe even Sork Shoes. Sork Shoes could be pretty good here. See, notice how he's just like shoving the lane. So it puts him in a constantly bad spot. He doesn't get that. Gonna W, dodge the middle, yep. Maybe this is my time to finally back. So what we're gonna do, hard shove, and just back. I don't think this guy's gonna freeze. Yeah, there's no way, yeah. Just what I expected. Kindred's here as well. All right, we're just going to back here for Cirque Shoes. We actually got our Blasting as well. We're going to get one pink ward. All right, we move back into lane. We got a bunch of items. So what's going to happen here is actually have a chance to roam and make a play. And the reason why I say that is because Set's going to push this in. He's going to back. And then I'm going to have that opening. So I might try to go bottom. Or go for the Kindred. Yep, yep, yep. See, Set's not... Oh, Set is here for this, but I'm stronger than this guy. It's fine. 
Ooh, I fucked up the combo. Uh, that doesn't have anything though. We're gonna ward that. Don't think I can kill him. Oof, that was so bad. We fucked up the kill on Kindred? We fucked up the kill on Kindred, which is like what we needed, and Udyr is too fucking tanky. Damn. That was... that was it though. That was it. Could have at least gotten the kill on Kindred. I think she had double buffs too. We would have gotten the shutdown. Missed opportunity there. Main goal now is to just hit our spikes. Hit our Nash. Let's hit our Nash. I guess I'm not going tank this game. Kindred? Here? This guy isn't fighting with nobody. This guy doesn't want to fight. Yeah, I don't know about that, man. Alright, let's see. Maybe... Bot's low. Okay, bot, yeah, bot's still low. Alright, we gotta go back mid. This game's looking kinda scary, dude. Kindred's 5-0. We need... We need our items, and then we gotta pretty much just play as best as we can after we get our items. Definitely Azania's game too. I don't know if it's... Is it a Riftmaker game? I think so. But yeah, they're getting drag here. Oof. Oof, she ulted. Sets here. Oh, he's going full tank actually. He should be able to get that. Let's go back into lane. Let's see Udyr comes. Are you gonna try to do something? Nice. Get the kill on that. Back for the Kindred. Yeah, yeah Kindred's here. Got the movement speed to get out. Okay, we at least picked up a kill. We're getting close to our spike. It's all we all we need right now. We just need to hit our spike. And then we can maybe start doing stuff from there. Should be good. Shit. Might have been bad. Just because now I have to back. Do I need a back? I'll back. I didn't get to place on my pink either. I'm just gonna sell it. Should you should have placed your pink though. Should place your pink there. Kindred has no R. Okay. So here I'm gonna lose the wave anyway, or I lost the wave anyway. We're gonna move and hover around the bot side. In case anything happens. Even if Kindred comes, we could fight. Okay, Set's not gonna be there. Yes, this is good, this is good, this is good. Ezreal Eid. Q. Okay, I should be able to E over. Q. Nice. Alright, we go back into the mid lane. So we picked up two kills there. Because I had a feeling that they were going to fight. We go back mid. Set actually doesn't push it too hard, so I actually get this cannon wave here. We pretty much have our Nashers. Now the sides are pretty dark. Don't really know what's in there, so I'm just going to chill out. Guy actually went full tank. 
So Set's really just going to be a CC bot. Now this went bot. Nice. Kindred breaks the mark off me. We're going to ping. I don't know, does him like doing that mean that Kindred's around? Could be. Kindred's bot. Okay, Kindred bottom. Sets on the Hecarim. So what I can do? I can either go. Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna shove this. Make him lose this EXP first. I don't think I need to immediately be there. And then maybe move my way bottom here. Kindred might try to dive the morgue, actually. Did she get the mark already? I don't think I can fight Kindred. Like, I just don't have the, the items. But I'm going to try to make my way around. Dodge the tribush ward. Waited to get out of vision. Three seconds for my W. And walk up. Okay. Ezreal getting aggressive there. Alright, just picking up kills. Jinx catches mid wave, that's good. So yeah, Seth's just beating on my tower, but... I'm getting stuff around the map, so I think that's pretty important right now. Because I'm not going to be able to do anything to set anyway, so... I'm gonna get. Oh. I don't want to get demonic here, and just go into the rift maker build. I'm only doing this because I have conquer, and I think rift maker is a lot of fun, and demonic helps rift maker work better, because you only get the omni vamp when you um when you're in combat for a certain amount of time. I think four seconds. So the demonic burn allows you to keep rift maker proc. We could pop the Kindred R. Get two kills. Oh, that's a huge, that's a huge, huge shutdown. All right, we'll give that to Hecarim. Hecarim, okay. So team wants to Jinx wants to push in mid, Set's gonna jump on her. That's her fault. Let me just catch this wave. Alright, let's go mid. Now we can potentially get collapsed here. So we gotta play around that. We got Nautilus CC that we gotta watch out for. Hindred's here, but no R. Nautilus ult is down, he's gonna hook. Can we go in? Good, 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 good. Gotta watch out for the CCs there, man. The only real CC there was the Nautilus, and he used everything. He used the ult, he used the, uh, the hook, and we're good. And we get the drag, and we even last hit it, so that's more gold, fuck it. Then we're going, gonna go into Demonic. Looking good, guys. Looking good. And then we go into Rift Maker. Even going like Zhonya's now would not be a bad idea. Because they're all AD anyway, right? And Zhonya's would be such a good item here. But in order for me to, like, show you guys how I play, how to play, like, fights a little bit better, I think it's better if I don't have Zhonya's, because Zhonya kind of cheats your way into it. Into fights. So we have Jinx covering mid, Camille covering top, we're gonna go bottom. Coming. Kindra doesn't have R. She can just stall. Seven seconds. Ezreal's around, but not really. 
W Q E I wonder if anyone else is here. Ah, that's a fight. Collapse on the Jinx. Okay, not as usual. E W O. Where's the set? Double Shimpoed. Kindred up. Nope. And creep up on the Zez. Five seconds for ult. I wonder if I could just one-shot him. Q. He's not around. Alright, I'm just gonna take her shit. What else we got? We got blue buff? No, I have the blue buff. Another battle royale game. In low elo, dude, it's always dropping hot. You're always dropping hot. You just fight. Okay, we just back. Hopefully no one comes and tries to hit me. Mid's gonna be gone, whatever. Objectives. Who needs those? We're just out here to fight, man. Jinx is gonna get caught out. For sure. Look at look at this. This is Is that not is she gonna get away with this? I don't know. Oh my gosh, she's gonna get away with it. Alright, so let's go up. Nalus is not there. Let's big CC down. Knowledge tries to go. Okay, don't know where Kindred is. So I'm like, not jumping on the knot here. Good. Good, 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 good. We just have to play that fight well. I wish I could explain the fights a little bit better, but a lot of shit happens really quick. But I think you get the idea. Like, these fights are going to happen regardless, and you just need to play the fights out well. There's like no real macro involved. Like, people will just jump in and try to hit you. You know what I mean? Here, I want to back, but I think the smart play would be not to back. And just keep pressuring because they're taking top. Don't wanna... yeah. Probably could've killed him there actually. But we get the inhib. That's, that's, that's the main thing. We kept the pressure mid and top in both directions. So that we, they, we like split the pressure, you know? And they can't like just stay. Oh, this is expensive now. But yeah, they can't just like put everyone top because we're taking mid, so they have to split up like who puts someone where, you know? But yeah, now we're strong. For level 14. The fed kindred is no longer fed. I'm fed as shit. Dragon's coming up. Do we do dumb shit here? This could be a throw, but if I play it well... Not Q. Bop. Q. Bop. W. Q. And it's just that easy. <laughs> you just play the fights well. That's it. That's all you do. That probably takes a lot of practice though, I gotta say. But it does show that micro is important. Micro is important in this elo. Because people are gonna test your mechanics. People will test your mechanics because they will wanna fight. 
You gotta make sure you know what to do at what times. Wants me. E. Dead. Dude, Zanya's mad expensive now. Can I sell this? Damn. I just get Magi's? I don't want it. I don't want it. Maybe I do want it. Yeah, I don't know. But now three inibs are down. We're gonna get the drag, we can get Baron, we can do literally whatever the fuck we want. Boom. Okay, wait, Kindred takes it. He's dead. Alright. Fuck. We'll just hold on to the seal. Actually, no. Let's just get Magi's. I'm giving in. I'm giving in. Alright, well. Game is pretty much over at this point. So maybe we just like go in in their base and just like chill there for a little bit. See what we can find. I mean, Morgana kind of kind of has the right idea. You. E. Q. E. E. Q. E. O. G. G. We were losing early on, I think. Kindred got really fed too, but we played around it, did what we had to do, hit our spikes, and we got strong. GG's.